Hello everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Other M. Yay! Uh, in the last episode we ended up defeating the War Wasp Hive, the boss of, uh, well, I don't know if you can call it the major boss of Sector 1. I always kind of refer to it like that. Uh, but there's actually several bosses in this game, so, I don't know, probably one of many. And Adam instructed us to go towards the exam center, and we also had another little sneak peek of the little bird-like creature that was munching down on all the stuff that we ended up eating and defeated. So now we're basically in this room from, I will show you quickly, this room right here where the water room is, and you got this little platform electronic thing that goes over, and you got to hit all the, I don't know, the vine, the, the whipping vines and stuff. And now we're basically in this room over here, and there's going to be several poison puffers in here and various switches that we're going to have to hit in order to get across this room, along with a missile tank, which I'll show you where that is, for all of you who are playing this game and want to 100% it like I am right now. Um, okay, freaking poison puffers. First thing you want to do, get rid of all the poison puffers, that would help. And lock onto this, charge up, activate the switch, so that way we can get our sails right over here. Hopefully I don't fail, jump it! Uh, we made it. Okay, good. Alright, now we're just going to stay underneath the water here for two reasons. One, because there's a switch underneath here, and that thing's going to be extremely annoying for me. Go away. Go away, I tell you. I'm trying to explain to the people at home. Oh, yay. The people at home. God. Anyways, there's a switch underneath here, which I'll show you in a minute. But before we do that, there's a little hole over here. Hmm, looks suspicious. Go into your morph ball mode there, and slowly go in here for the missile tank. Yay! Real tank acquired. Alright. In this game, honestly, like, in order to get the items, and that was one of the comments that you guys put on one of my videos, was that the items in this game compared to the Prime games. Now, mind you, I haven't played the Prime games, so I'll just say that I barely touched the first Prime game. I own the first Prime game and the third one. I tried to get Echoes, but oh god, I think I've already maybe explained that story already. But, um, okay, now we're gonna look up here and we're gonna lock onto this switch right here. So that way it makes the water go down so we can reach up to those platforms and we're going to have to do a little bit of jumping. It looks like as if they would crush you like when they come down like that, but they don't, so that's good. Because that would really suck. I think there's only, as far as I know, I think there's only like one uh, section where basically it'll like crush you uh, if you don't do it right. And that's like in the elevator shaft with those lizard thing when it comes and tries to get after you, but... I don't know, anyways. Good thing there isn't too many things in this game can crush you. So we're gonna have to make a leap of faith here and go to that first platform. And I'm gonna see if I can try to do this. Do it, Samus. Yes. Gosh, there's been times before where I failed that. Go away, poison puffer. We don't need you. All right. So we got our item in here, and now we're gonna look up. And there's like a little switch up here. We're gonna kind of hit this to make this thing start going down. If I can lock onto it, mind you. There we go. That's better. Okay, now it's going to go up and down. We're going to wait for it to go down so we can go underneath it. And jump, 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 jump. Oh, there we go. I think there's another poison puffer. At least I thought there was one in here. Guess not. Anyway, on to onward to the next room. Oh, God, this room. Watch out for these guys over here because they're just... There's the, they're the annoying plant things. A couple shots will take them out, though, so they're not overly annoying. But, but yeah. Anyways, I think I was saying... <laughs> I always get off topic... <laughs> I always like go on to the next thing. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, in this game it's not too hard to 100% because all the items, as you guys mentioned in the comments below, are pretty close to each other, so um, it's not overly that bad. And on one of these platforms, we're going to get onto in order to get into a morph ball hole. Um, I believe it's this one right here. Maybe? No. It's one of these. Oh, wait. You can get up closer. Get up. No, 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 don't fall, Samus. Gosh, I tell you. Me and jumping. It's very bad. Ugh. And that's probably why I haven't beaten Super Mario. Oh god, I haven't beaten Super Mario 64. And you guys are probably gonna be like, what? You've never beaten Super Mario 64? And like, you grew up on the 60, uh, 64 games? Yeah, I know, it's crazy. Um, I seriously have to beat it. I really do. I know we did like a Let's, ra ra let's Race of it, though, mind you. And I didn't do too bad. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, I could probably put a link in the description if you haven't seen it already. It's a playlist on my channel, so... Um, yeah, that's the race basically I had with uh, Ringtail Randall, uh, Old World G or Old World Gamer, and Lich and Plumber, and it was awesome because it was my first race. Now that's kind of weird because I never beat the game, so it was a bit um, it was a bit blind for me. <laughs> so, but considering the fact that I got like over thirty something 
um, stars or whatever it was. So I think I ended up beating at least two Bowsers. So it wasn't it wasn't overly bad. It wasn't terrible, but man, compared to those guys, compared to like um, compared to Ringtail Randall and Legendary Plumber, who just absolutely crazy and amazing at that game, like. I could, I can never hope to beat those guys, like, even if I beat the game, like, I'm just, ugh, I wasn't brought up on that game, so, I mean, in some, in some ways, it kind of makes a difference. Oh my gosh, I thought I had to bomb that for a second. Get out of the more fall mode. Okay, so this is the area we had to get to. If I don't fall down, that is. We have to make sure that the, uh, illusion goes away in this room. Oh, look, it's all just weird, and oh my god, what the hell is that? Whoa, we got ourselves a little boss monster thing. Oh, he's gonna basically shoot puffing things at you. Puffer, poison puffers. And what you're gonna want to do is keep like hitting the crap out of it. That's all you want to do with missiles. Missiles work great. Oh, and also the puffer things. That When those come at you, get out of missile mode and just kind of like shoot them. Now you're gonna want to get up at a bit of a higher distance somehow because its weak spot is up there. It's a bit of a better uh, range to see it too. Oh, if we can just somehow get up there, that is. Okay. That's better. There we go. You just want to hit the weak spot. And that's going to go over. Again, if I don't die, that is. Don't die, Samus. Don't die. We don't want to die in this fight. Just get our missiles back. Oh, gosh. That was so close, I tell you. Holy crap. I, know, I don't think I've ever been defeated by this thing, honestly. So that would have been bad. Ugh. Like I said, it's not very good showing you right now with the uh, poison puffer things. You can just easily dodge them, but when you get into this mode, you can just shoot them. Like I'll show you an example. You can just shoot them, so that way they just go away like that. And it works really good, because you want to be in this mode for most of it, just so you can missile the crap out of this thing. Um, it'll probably do a couple more hits. So now i got to play it a bit safer. Oh no, it's coming at me. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I don't even know if it actually has any other attacks. I wonder if it actually stomps you because I don't think I've ever seen this thing stomp me before. And hit it with a missile. And it should eventually fall over if it stops shooting its poison puffer things at me. I think it's the only attack. There we go, it's on its back again. Oh, we gotta get to weak spot. We gotta get to go back on its back or on its front or whatever it's called. There we go, that should do it. Ugh, oh, finally the thing's dead. I almost died to that thing. That was scary, man. Alright, so then it's gonna say, hey, you can continue onward. Uh, you might notice on the map right now, you can see on the little mini mini map right there, but if you go into the major map, or the bigger map, you'll see a little like dot there. And you're like, hey, why are you getting that item? Because we can't yet. Unfortunately, we need other things. Oh, great, my Weaver was telling me, oh, your batteries are gonna die. And that was what I was afraid of actually during this recording, is my batteries gonna die. Uh, because we have these rechargeable batteries, and um, I don't know, I guess it's getting past its expiry date or something, like, of, because eventually at some point when you have the rechargeable batteries, they don't charge as well as they used to anymore, so we're probably going to have to get a new set of those, but I tell you, we've had them for at least a couple of years, and it's worth it, man, it is totally worth it, when you have to use batteries, crazy, oh, it died. When you have to use like double A batteries for these Wii remotes and stuff like that, it's uh, it's so worth it because batteries are so expensive to buy. Like, I would not like be playing the Wii at all like without having rechargeable batteries. Like we used to actually buy like the batteries in the store for these things, and they're like twelve bucks a pack. It's crazy. But ever since we got the rechargeable batteries, we just like we got for twenty five bucks. It's not that bad. So. I believe that there is an item over here, actually. Yes, there is. We could probably scan it, though. We can't get it just yet, though, because we're going to need, I believe, the screw attack. Or, not necessarily the screw attack, but the... I think there's, like, two things in here where it's, like, the screw attack, which actually hurts things. And there's, like, the one where it, like, makes you, I don't know, fly in the air. I'm not sure exactly, but... Ugh. These things are so annoying, I tell you. My god. There's so many items, it just haunts me up there, honestly. Oh my god, these things are so nasty. Oh my god, oh, they reminds me of spiders, they're really creepy. Alright, let's continue onward. Gosh. Oh yes, this room. Hello, this room. I'm gonna look around first, make sure I'm not missing anything. 
All right, right around here, you're gonna see this little like Morphe ball section. Well, we can't use that yet. I don't think it's active yet, so I'm just gonna get rid of these little guys. I can never figure out the name for them, but they're pretty much just as common as Goombas and Mario. <laughs> like they're the weak enemy in this game. Let's see if we get them on the other side. We got some on the other side. Yeah, this is so annoying. That is the one thing about this game I kind of get annoyed at is the fact that, like, I don't know. When you try to lock onto something, it usually tempts you to like shoot your missiles at it, but you don't want to do that. So, Let's see if we can just. Oh, uh, can't use that. For I wonder what that is exactly. Cause I know there's like a missile door up there that we're gonna have to uh, get. Ugh. Do we not? Oh, we have missiles. What am I talking about? We do have missiles. So why isn't it working? Missiles. Missiles. Oh. Oh, maybe that isn't the section that we need to. Cause I know there is a missile door up here. I'm not lying, guy. There's a there's a door up here we need to get at. Unless we have to get up a higher distance in order to get at it, that could be the case. Because there is an item up here that we're going to need to get. And I want it. Oh, and then yes, I know my Wii batteries are dying and it's horrible. Don't die on me. You can't die on me. Okay, let's see if we can get from this. Okay, well this might work better. There we go. Well, that's going to activate that. Okay, so I finally figured out where the thing was. It's not up here. It's actually right over here. It's a box that's on the ceiling and it actually has, I believe, an old missile which is going to fall down. And there we go. We got ourselves a missile tank. Woohoo! All right. So now we can basically go into here and activate the little morph ball thing. So let's bomb it and whoa! Just blow up the friggin' ceiling. All right. So, looks like, I'm trying to take a look here. I don't think we have anything important in here that we have to investigate. I think it's just a regular room. Room. Uh, any enemies in here? Yeah, of course there is. Of course there's always enemies in here. Gosh. I should learn that by now. Considering the fact where we are. Like, and I can't wait till we get to, like, the next sector, though. Because the next sector is actually pretty cool. I don't mind it. Ah, lethal strike. Which is uh, so unnecessary, but at the same time. Gosh, hopefully our batteries can just survive through this. Cause it's so weird, cause sometimes when you go into the Wii menu and you take a look at the batteries, it says like it's fully charged or at least like half charged. Oh crap, hello. I see you guys here. Um, but, and then like when you open it up again, it, it'll drop down to like one bar or nothing. So it's kind of crappy. Come on, I'm gonna overshot it. There we go. Evil strike. In your face. Dead. Oh gosh, your little friends are all like ticked off now. They're like, oh, what'd you do? What'd you do to Larry? What'd you do? He's dead now. Oh no, I'm gonna do this one right in your face too, right in front of you. Oh my god. That like took him back. He's like, oh crap, man. The batteries are going crazy. Hopefully I don't die. Gosh. Or besides the batteries dying. All right, let's lethal strike this guy. In your face! All right, and as you can see, we're kind of like in an observation kind of deck, right where we end up fighting that wood boss thing. And right over here, we can just lock onto it. We can't get it just yet. We have an energy part over there that we can't get yet. And I want it though. Oh, I think that's all I want it all. I want it now. Oh gosh. Now we can go into this room over here. Oh, well, so many friggin' bugs. Go away, you crazy bugs. I don't like you. You don't like me, and I don't like you. Simple as that. Oh, yes, this right over here. We can't activate that yet, because once again, more items that we're gonna need. Need later. Oh, gosh. Crazy plant thing. Get rid of these. Oh, and yes, you can get rid of them. Thank God. Because I would not be doing good this game if I had to try to dodge those all the time. Not at all. Jeez. Alright. Oh, now we're in this room and there's another item we can get into this room as far as I know, you believe. You see that little like morph ball shaft thing up there? Shaft. Um, we're gonna have to do that, but before we do that, we're gonna have probably another encounter with a little old friend of ours. Oh, there's another one! Oh my gosh, they're all over the place. Go away, crazy puffers. Oh gosh, just just go over and die. 
just keep wailing on it. It'll eventually pop over. And I'll get onto its side and its weak point will come up. If I get rid of these things before you do anything. Oh, it's so annoying. I'm just trying to lock onto this. I'm trying to be safe here too. I'm trying to play it safe and steering you. We're kind of low on health. Ah, crap. Ah. No, it's going on a tangent. No. Come on. Oh, gosh. It's not locking on very well now, is it? Let's move back a little bit. Move back away from it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Dude. Okay, I understand that you're very upset. Come on now. Elves to the brink of death. Let's do this. I want to take you out. Come on. Is he gonna stomp on me? He's not actually gonna stomp on me, is he? Oh gosh, he went over. I swear you freaking distracted me. There we go, now we finally killed this thing. Thank you. Gosh. Are we done? We're done with you? Thank you. Okay. So now we can basically get an item in this room. I think there might be another item. Okay, see this right here? We're going to have to come back to this later when we have a certain item, which will lead us to another item. It's always about you need other equipment in order to uh, get back into uh, getting other stuff. So I believe we can just climb onto this thing, get into this person mode because there's probably going to be some enemies possibly along the way that are going to try to frig around with us. We don't want that. Um, hopefully I can make this jump though. Oh, I don't want to use my missiles on them. Jeez, it's not even worth it. Not worth the missiles, man. Go away. Jeez, I keep telling you to go away. Gosh, no, 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 go away. I'm trying to make the jump here. Make the jump to light speed. Okay, here we go. This is the jump that we have to make. Oh, we just made it too. Oh, there's been some few times where I just didn't make that jump for some reason. And I had to and you had to go all the way back to ride that thing again. Oh my god. It's so annoying. Hello. Die. Just die. Okay, so then we go all the way up here, around, more enemies, die, bombs. Ugh, because there is an item in here that we need. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I see it. Oh, I see it. It's mine. It's totally mine. Yay! Energy tank. Nice. Ugh. We need that health really badly, too. Gosh. Okay, and then we come up to this way. So that way we can turn off the, uh, or turn on, I should say, the power to that door down there. So it's kind of like two things you had to do. You had to go get the item, and then you also had to do go up there just to go into this little save section right here. And here we go. But, considering, um, probably what time we're up to, it might be a bit of a shorter episode, I'm not entirely sure, because after I do a few cutting and stuff like that, we're probably just going to save it off here, and also the fact that my battery's dying, so I don't know how much longer it's going to last, we don't want this dying in the middle of a crazy boss fight or something, that would be bad. Alright, so, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and I will see you guys in the next episode, take care!